Hello everyone, my name is Colleen Kreischeld and I will be teaching you to use the app GoNoodle. First, what you are going to do is type in GoNoodle in the search bar of Google. It is typically the first link to pop up. GoNoodle.com and we will select that and it will then bring you to the main page. We're going to click on Start Go Noodling. If you are a teacher, select Educator. Otherwise, you will select Kid or Parent slash Guardian for home use. Since I already have an account, I am going to click on Log In. I've added my information um, to get to the account that I have previously made. Because we had to skip a couple of the setup steps since I already have an account, I'm going to show you how to set up your class on the website. So you're going to click Go Noodle over to the left of the screen. I'm going to click Change Class. And this will bring me to a new page that has the option to add a class. So this is where you will be brought initially when you create your account for the first time. I'm going to click new class and here I will add the name, the class size, and whichever grade um, fits for most cases. So for my special education class, um, you can either choose where your students are for the most part academically or you can choose multiple grades. Our classroom mascot is the penguin, so I will add the name Playful Penguin. And then we have 21 students in our class size. So then I'm going to click Let's Play. Next, you will come to a screen that asks you who you want your champion, your champ to be. Um, you'll have the option to choose anyone you want. So for this, I'm going to scroll and find Flappy Tuckler. Next, I will click Play Flappy Tuckler. Then it will bring you to a new screen. And what the champ does is he or she grows the more you progress on Go Noodle. And then after a certain point, he will graduate and you'll get to select a new champ to go with you on your um, journey through Go Noodle. The two main features that I want to focus on today are the Categories tab and the Channels tab. So starting with the Categories, you will see a long list of options of different videos. First we have curricular, then mindfulness, sensory and motor skills, school life, and finally movement type. These all provide videos by topic in order to help locate just what you are looking for quickly. So looking at the topic of mindfulness, for example, I'm going to choose practice self-control. Here you can see all of the videos that will help your students remember what self-control is and how to practice it to the best of their ability. Within this section, there are two different kinds of videos. There are upbeat songs, as well as meditation versions of similar lessons. And there are many to choose from. The second feature I want to show you today is channels. On this tab, you have different themes of what you have access to. And when you hover your mouse over each icon, there is a short explanation of what you will find in each section. So for NTV, you will find throwback jams, for example. Blazer Fresh, you will find um, what you can get down and get funky to. 
So if I click on Moose Tube, there are all of these different video options that will provide brain breaks for students to get their wiggles out and have small movement breaks to help them regain focus. So there's different ones like this one would be um, a quick dancing video and this one would help them to line up and teach them um, what lining up looks like um, quickly and quietly. It also provides different options such as B breath, um, which would help them to remember to take a deep breath um, whenever they are frustrated or upset or something is bothering them or whatever the case may be. Going back to the discovery tab, you will see the newest in Go Noodle. So here we have um, an advertisement for um, a new movie to get the, the kids interested in. We also have suggestions for indoor recess. We have think warm thoughts. So with all of this cold weather, um, just finding peace and thinking about what seasons are coming next. There are many different suggestions. What is perfect for third grade, for example. There are many different suggestions that may help um, in the classroom on any given day. I hope that I was able to help you today and I would highly recommend this website in the classroom.